Moving to file item 96, SB 63, the clerk will read. Senate Bill 63 by Senator Hall and others enacting the seaport infrastructure financing. Back to Mr. O'Donnell. You're recognized. Mr. Speaker and members, SB 63 adds seaports to the list of enhanced infrastructure financing district approved projects and allows the ports to have access to new and vital seaport infrastructure financing. California ports and harbors are major contributors to the state's economy, employing tens of thousands of workers, investing billions in local and state businesses, and creating hundreds of millions of state and local tax revenues. Currently, our ports are losing market share to competitors outside of the state because other jurisdictions are subsidizing their infrastructure improvements. SB 63 will enable California seaports to better compete with ports outside of the state and will help them continue to grow California's economy. I respectfully ask for an aye vote. Seen and hearing no further debate, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote. Who desire to vote? All members vote. Who desire to vote? All members vote. Who desire to vote? The clerk will close the roll, tally the votes. Ayes 67, noes 2. Measure passes. File items 97 and 98 will pass and retain. File item 99 we're going to pass temporarily. File item 100 for purposes of amendments, SB 530. The clerk will read. Senate Bill 530 with amendments by Assemblymember McCarty. Mr. McCarty, you may open. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. Amendments to SB 530 are being taken at the request of our CHP commissioner to address a few concerns. I respectfully ask for your aye votes on the amendments and the bill go out to print and back on file. Ms. Waldron. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We support the amendments. Seeing and hearing no further debate without objection, we can take a voice vote on the amendments. All those in favor, please say aye. All opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The amendments are adopted. The bill is out to print and back on file. Passing and retaining file items 101, file item 102, we will pass temporarily. We're going to pass and retain file items 103, 104, and 105. Now going to file item 106, SB 170. The clerk will read. Senate Bill 170 by Senator Gaines and others, and actually to unmanned aircraft systems. Mr. Gatto. Thank you very much. Uh, colleagues, Senate Bill 170 is an effort to modernize our current legal code to deal with uh, the emerging use of drones. Uh, we've seen in recent months that a lot of people have flown drones over uh, jails and prisons with attempts to drop contraband. Uh, believe it or not, current law does not make the practice illegal. SB 170 remedies that, and I respectfully ask for your eye vote. Seeing and hearing no further debate, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll, tie the votes. I 69, no zero. The measure passes. File item 107, SB 271. The clerk will read. Senate Bill 271 by Senator Gaines and others enacting to unmanned aircraft systems. Again, back to Mr. Gatto. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This is another effort by the great Senator Ted Gaines to, uh, t and, and yes, his, uh, his wonderful wife is standing here prodding me, <laughs> uh, to, um, to modernize our legal system to deal with issues of drones. Senate Bill 271 would make it a criminal infraction to fly a drone to spy over elementary schools without the permission of the principal. I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Seeing and hearing no further debate, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll, tally the votes, I-71, no zero. Measure passes. We're going to pass and retain, uh, we're going to pass, pass and retain file item 108, pass temporarily file item 109, moving out of file item 110 for purposes of amendments, SB 494, the clerk will read. Senate Bill 494 with amendments by Assembly Member Cooley. Mr. Cooley, you may open. Colleagues, I have amendments on SB 494 Hill. This deals with earthquake early warning. Uh, readiness to deal with natural disaster, very important in our state. There is currently authority for OES to work on funding of an early warning system, uh, but actually that authority under current law terminates on January 1st. These amendments simply extend that authority for additional six months to reflect some work in progress. Uh, these are needed amendments, timely. I request your concurrence or approval of these amendments. Seeing and hearing no further debate. Without objection, we can take a voice vote on these amendments. All those in favor, please say aye. All opposed, please say nay. 
The ayes have it. The amendments are adopted. The bill is out to print and back on file. Passing and retaining file item 110, moving now to file item 112 for purposes of amendments, SB 697. The clerk will read. Senate Bill 697 with amendments by Assembly Member Ting. Mr. Ting, you may open. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. SB, uh, we have amendments addressing chaptering issues for SB 697. Respectfully ask for I vote. Seeing and hearing no further debate, without objection, we can take a voice vote on the amendments. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All opposed, say nay. The ayes have it. The amendments are adopted. The bill is out to print and back on file. File item 113 will pass and retain. File item 114, SB 557. The clerk will read. Senate Bill 557 by Senator Hall, an act relating to alcoholic beverages. Mr. Gray. Mr. Gray? You're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, SB 557 would amend ABC Tide House provisions to include the Del Mar, Del Mar Fairgrounds on the list of exemptions. Uh, this is a good bill. There's no opposition. I would respectfully ask for your aye vote. Seeing and hearing no further debate, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote. Who desire to vote? All members vote. Who desire to vote? All members vote. Who desire to vote? The clerk will close the roll, tally the votes. I 67, no zero, measure passes. File item 115 for purposes of amendment, SB 134, the clerk will read. Senate Bill 134 with amendments by Assembly Member Alejo. Mr. Alejo, you may open. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. The minor amendment creates a reserve account for owners who come forward for their unclaimed property. I respectfully ask for your eye vote on the amendments. Seeing and hearing no further, uh, Ms. Waldron. Without objection. So without objection, we can take a voice vote on these amendments. All those in favor, please say aye. All opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The amendments are adopted. The bill is out to print and back on file. File item 116 will pass and retain. 117 will pass and retain. 118 will pass and retain. File item 119, SJR 16. The clerk will read. Senate Joint Resolution 16 by Senator DeLeon relative to AmeriCorps. Ms. Burke, you recognized. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. SJR 16 urges Congress to protect and sustain full funding for the Corporation for National and Community Services, or CNCS, the entity that runs AmeriCorps programs. This year in California, the CNCS committed more than $108 million to support cost-effective community solutions. AmeriCorps workers support and communities by tutoring, mentoring children, supporting veterans and military families, providing health services, restoring the environment, responding to disasters and increasing economic opportunity at more than 3,200 locations throughout the state. Their work hand in hand with the government, nonprofit and faith based organizations at time of growing demand for services in many of our most impoverished communities is tremendously important. SJR will 16 will ensure that Congress understands the vital role of national service programs in California, and I respectfully ask for your eye vote. Seeing and hearing no further debate, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tie the votes. I 68, no, zero. The measure passes. File item 120 will pass and retain. File item 121, SB 144. The clerk will read. Senate Bill 144 by Senator Pan and others, an act relating to water resources. Mr. Dalgary, you're recognized. Mr. Speaker, members, I rise to present SB 144, a bill that would modify the existing state authorizations for the flood control project along the American and Sacramento rivers and around the Natomas Basin. The constructed projects will increase the ability of existing flood control systems to protect heavily urbanized areas within the city of Sacramento and the counties of Sacramento and Sutter. I ask for your aye vote. Seeing and hearing no further debate, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote. Who desire to vote? All members vote. Who desire to vote? All members vote. Who desire to vote? Clerk will close the roll, tally the votes. Ayes 70, no zero. Measure passes. Passing and retaining file items 122, 123, 124, and 125. Moving to file item 126, SB 388. The clerk will read. Senate Bill 388 by Senator Mitchell, an act relating to health care coverage. Assemblymember Kim, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I'm pleased to present Senator Holly Mitchell's SB 388, 
SB 388 will require that the summary of benefits and coverage document be made available in critical languages by geographic area and clarifies that the SBC must be translated in languages that reflect California's demographics. The summary of benefits and coverage, or SBC, details what is covered under a health plan, explains coverage limitations, and provides definitions of key terms to consumers to help them evaluate and compare their health insurance options. Unfortunately, because of a technicality in our federal law, health plans are only required to translate this vital document in only four languages, Spanish, Chinese, Navajo, and Tagalog. This bill will help ensure that all plans follow California's language access laws, which means in the parts of the state where there is a certain percentage of limited English proficient population and where languages and others are most commonly spoken, this SPC will be translated into Korean, Vietnamese, Armenian, and others. As SP388 is supported by many organizations, including Asian Law Alliance, the Latino Coalition for Health California, and the Western Center on Law and Poverty, among others. This bill has no opposition and received unanimous bipartisan support in Assembly Health Committee. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Seen and hearing no further debate, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll, tie the votes. Ayes, 72, no zero, measure passes. Passing and retaining file item 127, file item 128, SB 466, the clerk will read. Senate Bill 466 by Senator Hill and others, an act to nursing. Ms. Bonilla, you may open. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker and members. This is the sunset bill for the Board of Registered Nursing. It essentially does three things. Uh, it extends the board's sunset date to 2018. It requires that schools grant credit for military experience uh, and for education, and it requires the state auditor to review the board's disciplinary processes. I ask for your I vote. Seeing and hearing no further debate, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. Clerk will close the roll, tally the votes. Ayes 74, no zero, measure passes. File items 129 through 132, passing and retaining. File item 133, SB 613, the clerk will read. Senate Bill 613 by Senator Allen and Act to Dementia. Mr. Thurman, you may open. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I rise to present SB 613 on behalf of Senator Allen. It has to do with Alzheimer's care. This bill would rewrite the guidelines for Alzheimer's care. Uh, sadly, uh, we know that many who deal with Alzheimer's also experience dementia, and this bill gives us an opportunity to do things that will be right for those who are impacted by this disease. It's estimated that more than 590,000 Californians have Alzheimer's disease, and it impacts every single group of every single race, ethnicity, and other categories. We know that this number will double by 2030 and that 75,000 Californians just alone in the next 15 years will be impacted by Alzheimer's disease. This is our opportunity to make changes in the field, and I respectfully ask for your eye vote for this legislation that would update the guidelines uh, that are much needed at this time. Seeing and hearing no further debate, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll, tally the votes, ayes 76 to no zero, measure passes. File item 134 for purposes of amendments, SB 635, the clerk will read. Senate Bill 635 with amendments by Assembly Member Bonta. Mr. Bonta, you may open. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. Today I rise to present amendments to SB 635. The amendments simply add a principal co-author and make a non-substantive change. I respectfully ask for your I vote, members. Seeing and hearing no further debate, without objection, we can take a voice vote on the amendments. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All opposed, say nay. The ayes have it. The amendments are adopted. The bill is out to print and back on file. File item 135, we're passing and retaining. File item 136, SB 662, the clerk will read. 
Senate Bill 662 by the Committee on Environmental Quality and Act related to Recycling, making appropriation therefore. Mr. Gordon, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, uh, Senate Bill 662 is the Senate Environmental Quality Committee's annual omnibus bill. SB 662 makes technical and clarifying changes to two programs. First, the bill clarifies CalRecycle's authority to make reimbursement payments for promotion of the Recycling Market Development Zone program. This is in order to stimulate recycling market development in California. The promotional activities are integral to the agency's efforts to achieve 75% uh, recycling by 2020 and the state's greenhouse gas emission reduction goals. Second, the bill changes the due date of an annual report from California's paint manufacturer's recovery program. This allows the program adequate time to prepare the report without needing to request yearly extensions. As a committee bill, this is a bipartisan clarifying measure, and I respectfully ask for an aye vote. Seeing and hearing no further debate, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll, tie the votes. Ayes 76, no zero. Measure passes. File item 137, we're going to pass temporarily. File items 138, 39, and 140, we're going to pass and retain. Going now to file item 141 for purposes of amendments, SB 800. Madam, uh, Madam Clerk. Senate Bill 800 with amendments by Assemblymember Gordon. Mr. Gordon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There are amendments at the desk for SB 800. These amendments include language to resolve chaptering conflicts. I respectfully ask for your I vote on the amendments so that the bill can be, put in, can be back in print and placed back on the third reading file. Without objection, we can take a voice vote on these items. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The amendments are adopted. The bill is out to print and back on file. File item 142, SB 337, the clerk will read. Senate Bill 337 by Senator Pavley and others, an act relating to healing arts. Mr. Alejo, are you prepared to introduce? Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. This bill is designed to provide additional methods for physicians and to document supervision between the physician and physician assistant or PA team that are more flexible. With millions of Californians now receiving health care under the Affordable Care Act, there is a great need to adopt policies that maximize efficient team-based care. SB 337 recognizes the growing changes in health care practices and increases options for physician and PA team to document supervisions. For general office visits, physicians can still choose to co-sign 5% of all medical records and use alternative forms of physician review throughout the year that may occur in person or by electronic communication. Similarly, for Schedule II drugs, physicians are required to co-sign 100% of the medical records of patients seen by PAs within seven days. SB 337 still allows physicians to co-sign 100% of all these prescriptions within seven days, but will also allow certain practices to reduce the number of co-signatures. This bill is sponsored by the California Academy of Physician Assistants and is supported by CAPG, um, with, which represents over 160 physicians and groups, the California Medical Board, the California Physician Assistance Board. There's no opposition. We respectfully ask for your support of this bill. Seeing and hearing no further debate, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote. Who desire to vote? The clerk will close the roll, tally the votes. I-74, no zero. Measure passes. File items 143, 144, we're going to pass and retain. File items 145 through 154, we're going to pass and retain. Going now to file item 155, SB 210, the clerk will read. Senate Bill 210 by Senator Galgiani, an act relating to special education. Mr. Gallagher, you may present. Mr. Speaker, members, I present to you today in sign language, ASL, in support of SB 210, a bill that will help deaf children to have success and opportunity. I'm a little rusty in my ASL, so bear with me a little bit. <laughs> um, this bill will help establish language benchmarks for deaf kids from birth through five years old. This is import important to me because I have two deaf brothers and I think it's Im important to all of us because we want, we want to ensure opportunity for all kids. 
thank you and I ask for your support support for SB 210. Thank you. Seeing no debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those in favor, all members vote who would desire to vote, all members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tie the votes. I-75, no, zero. Measure passes. File item 156, we're going to pass and retain. File item 130, uh, sorry, 156, we're going to pass and retain. File item 157, we're going to pass temporarily. Moving to file item 158 for purposes of amendments, SB 334, the clerk will read. Senate Bill 334 with amendments by Assemblymember Rendon. Mr. Rendon, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I can't quite compete with that, but uh, my bill is a bill about safe drinking water in schools. SB 334 prohibits schools from providing drinking water that does not meet the U.S. EPA standards for lead or other contaminants. This bill also requires school districts to take measures uh, each school day to provide free, clean, and safe drinking water on campus. Amendments are minor and technical, and I respectfully ask for your eye vote on these amendments. Ms. Waldron, you're recognized. We support the amendments. Okay. Seeing and hearing no further debate without objection, we can take a voice vote on the amendments. All those in favor say aye. All opposed say nay. The ayes have it. The amendments are adopted. Bill's out to print and back on file. Going now to file item 159, SB 359, the clerk will read. Senate Bill 359 by Senator Mitchell and others, an act relating to pupil instruction. Mr. Joan Sawyer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, SB 359, Mitchell, requires school districts with middle schools and high schools to implement fair mathematics placement policies. Math placement occurs when ninth grade students are held back to repeat their eighth grade math course despite achieving a B grade or better, or testing at proficiency, or even advanced on state assessments, instead of being advanced to the next course in the recommended math sequence as a freshman in high school. In 2010, nearly 65% of students who took Algebra I in the eighth grade were made to repeat the class in the ninth grade, particularly Latino, African American, and Pacific Islander students. Any math misplacement and increasing the access to institutions of higher education for African American youth has been a priority of the California Legislative Black Caucus, which I chair. SB 359 will ensure fair placement of students by requiring school districts to develop, establish, and maintain a fair and objective uh, mathematics placement policy for incoming 8th uh, and ninth graders. SB 359 has no opposition and received unanimous bipartisan support in policy committee. I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Dr. Weber, you're recognized. Yes, Mr. Speaker and members, I too rise in support of SB 359, the California uh, Mathematic uh, Placement Act of 2015. Many of us in the Black Caucus were appalled when we uh, went to Silicon Valley and had an opportunity to see the research that had been done concerning math placement and to learn that in this era of STEM, where we're focusing so much on increasing our education in science and mathematics, that in an era such as this, we're finding that students who have done, uh, done well in, in algebra in early grades are now being placed or discouraged from continuing on and made to repeat a course. And the fact that they had to repeat it meant that they did worse the second time around because of feeling they were discouraged. There has to be some fair, fairness in the math placement. And as a result of that, those in Silicon Valley, those in the Black Caucus, those throughout the state are greatly concerned as we continue to increase our efforts to include students in this math and science programs that they're encouraged and not discouraged from doing well. And so we, we uh, ask for your I vote on SB 359. This is truly one of the civil rights uh, issues of our era where we make sure that all children have access to a quality education and when they do well they're encouraged to move on and not discouraged. So I respectfully ask for your I vote on SB 359. Mr. Alejo, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I also rise in support of SB 359, which addresses math misplacement in our public schools. Pupil achievement in mathematics is vital, as we all know, especially as we begin to encourage students to pursue an education and ultimately a career in the STEM fields. 
Placement in appropriate math classes is a key component in being able to achieve this, particularly when students are, are at an educational crossroad when entering high school. Misplacement has a far-reaching uh, impact on a student's confidence and, most importantly, could negatively alter the college career opportunities available to them. Students integrated in STEM will play a, cr a critical role in driving the future of California's innovation and economic growth. Despite an urgent need to increase the number of diversity of workers entering into the STEM career pipeline, studies conclude that many successful math students, particularly African American and Latino students, are being unnecessarily held back in math. SB 359 will help correct this problem and ensure students have access to classes that need to be college ready, that they need to be college ready and competitive in today's workforce. I respectfully ask for an I vote on this important measure. Seeing and hearing no further debate, Mr. Jones Sawyer, you may close. I respectfully ask for your I vote. The clerk will open the roll. All members vote. Who desire to vote? All members vote. Who desire to vote? All members vote. Who desire to vote? The clerk will close the roll. Tie the votes. I 67, no zero. Measure passes. File item 160, we're going to pass and retain. File item 161, we're going to pass temporarily. File item 162 through 165, we're going to pass and retain. File item 166, SB 343, the clerk will read. Senate Bill 343 by Senator Hancock, an act related to corrections. Mr. Santiago, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. SB 343 requires the California Department of Correctional and Rehabilitation to strongly consider integrating its libraries and correctional libra librarians into the department's uh, prisoner literacy, literacy program. There is no opposition to this bill, and I respectfully ask for your I vote. Seeing and hearing no further debate, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll, tally the votes, I 61, no zero. Measure passes. File item 167 to 168 will pass and retain. As well as file items 169 through 172. Moving now to file item 173, SB 555, the clerk will read. Senate Bill 555 by Senator Wolk and others and actually into water. Assemblymember Kansen Chu, are you prepared to present? Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I rise to present SB 555 by Senator Wolk. SB 555 would require urban retail water suppliers to submit an annual water loss audit report to the Department of Water Resources beginning in 2017. The bill will also require DWR and the State Water Resources Control Board to establish rules related to the water loss audit and to establish water loss performance standards. It provides up to 400,000 from the State Water Board to contribute toward DWR's costs incurred in performing a validation of water losses audit report for the first year. Water loss reduction must be a continuing effort to eliminate or reduce all losses that are cost effective. Reducing water loss from leaks and breaks in water system will increase water supply reliability, reduce energy usage, and improve infrastructure in longevity. Given the drought we are facing today, we must ensure that water agencies are identifying and, and taking all cost-effective measures to reduce water loss in their distribution system. SB 555 is supported by a diverse coalition of environmental groups, water agencies, and private industries. I ask for your I vote. Thank you. Seeing and hearing no further debate, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. Clerk will close the roll, tally the votes. Ayes 54, noes 4. Measure passes. We're going to pass and retain file items 174 through 183. And at this time, go to file item 184 for purposes of amendments, SB 463, the 467, the clerk will read. Senate Bill 467 with amendments by Assemblymember Bonilla. Ms. Bonilla, you may open. 
Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker and members. More exciting news from the world of business and professions. I present to you uh, amendments to SB 467 by Senator Hill. The amendments clarify that the Medical Board is not required to use the complaint prioritization guidelines that are part of the Consumer Protection Enforcement Initiative of 2010. I ask for your I vote. Without objection, we can take a voice vote on those amendments. All those in favor, please say aye. All opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The amendments are adopted. The bill is out to print and back on file. Going now to file item 185 for purposes of amendments, SB 468. The clerk will read. Senate Bill 468 with amendments by Assemblymember Bonilla. Again, Ms. Bonilla, you're recognized. Thank you very much. SB 468, uh, these amendments resolve chaptering conflicts. I ask for your aye vote. Ms. Waldron. Uh, we oppose these amendments. Ms. Waldron is opposing these amendments and asking for a roll call vote. The clerk will open the roll. Members, this is for the amendments. Ms. Bonilla is asking for an aye vote. Ms. Waldron is asking for no vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tie the votes. Ayes 41. Nose 23, the amendments are adopted, out to print and back on file. We're going to pass and retain file items 186 through 191, going now to file item 192 for purposes of amendments, SB 541, the clerk will read. 